Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you unboxing first look of a new QSP knife that I recently got. This is the model Swordfish. The model number is QS149-C1. This is one of the uh, newest models for 2023 and it features uh, that new uh, dark brown Berla micarta. Inside the box we have the knife certificate or quick information about the design, measurements on, show information about the warranty, two stickers, always have a knife day, and the QSP Wolf. I must really say I'm really glad that QSP does not waste money on extra uh, things that we probably don't need anyways, so thumbs up uh, from me. So here is the knife itself, is a really nice uh, neutral uh, design. QSP does give uh, names, uh, uh, names of the knives from uh, different uh, sorts of uh, animals like birds, uh, fishes and sea and land animals of course. So. I had the chance to, to pick up probably all of the new releases with the dark brown um, burlap micarta so if you miss them check out my QSP playlist. So let me give you the specification really quickly. So we have an overall length of 20.7 cm that is 8.1 inch. The blade is 9.2 cm or 3.6 inches long with a width of 2.8 cm or 1.1 inch. Thickness is 2.5 millimeters or 0.1 inch. The handle is 11.5 centimeters long or 4.5 inches with a thickness of 1.2 centimeters or 0.5 inches. I must say that I'm really happy that they went with uh, everything on this knife is just spot on how I like uh, envision my uh, EDC knife. So firstly, uh, let's focus on the blade. I always say that I really appreciate that uh, QSP does try out different uh, styles of blade shapes. They do not overuse uh, only one type of, uh, of blade shape, let's say modified uh, uh, drop point and variations of it. But on this one, we have a beautiful uh, modified uh, worn cliff with this aggressive uh, shape and they used 14C28N which they are now using on uh, most models previously they used D2 and they applied this beautiful almost polished uh, stone wash I hope it translates okay through the camera but as you can see there there is definitely a stone washing and then it is polished you can see my window right there so so really like to, to see that also the billboarding is kept to a minimum we have a small QSP logo on the top and uh, steel variant on the other side like I mentioned on the handles they are giving us uh, this new type of uh, dark brown burlap micarta I would prefer to have something uh, lighter, light, uh, light, lighter shade of brown. Uh, I will be comparing it uh, at the later part of this video with some different burlaps that I have. But this is still a neutral type or natural type uh, of uh, micarta, so it will uh, stain a little bit and get probably darker while in use. There is also a lanyard hole, black G10 backspacer. For the pivot assembly, we have cage ball bearing washers. Opening method, we have either flipper or thumb studs. Lock on this one is a button lock. So definitely uh, one of the safest locks out there right now and looks like lots of companies are using this lock to promote it on different models to 
keep the knife a little bit safer and also uh, fidget friendly. And I must say the button is perfectly dialed in, so as you can see it will nicely close. Centering is perfect in my opinion. Another great thing that I usually talk about in my videos is that uh, more EDC knives should have a wire clip. And they went with this one also like on the QSP uh, Osprey. So we have medium uh, stiffness on it. Let me show you the sharpness out of the box. Well, this is a very nice and sharp blade indeed. There is a small choil heel, so I will definitely not uh, recommend to put your finger there, but it is there if you need it. Also, we have really nice neutral uh, handle shape, so it will fit like my XL size hand, also smaller ones. The reverse grip is also really nice, you can rest your thumb on the opposite side. Yeah. Okay, let me show you the pocket profile really quickly. So this is how much it will sticking out. So I could say it is deep carry, almost deep carry, but maybe a millimeter is sticking out, but definitely it looks more like a pen than, than a knife. So good job right there to conceal it. Okay, so now let's see a few size comparisons. So let me put into perspective uh, one of my more expensive uh, QSPs that I have. So this was the, the previous uh, sheep's foot, uh, traditional sheep's foot uh, slash Warncliffe hybrid, how do I call it? You can call it also also Warncliffe, but it's somewhere in between. Like also this is, uh, this is uh, also a modified uh, Warncliffe because it, it has a straight blade and the curvature is a little bit there, but it is angled. So uh, this is the Pelican. This was uh, in those older days where QSP did use also the same uh, type of packaging like other companies like uh, like V. So they will give you a pouch, a microfiber cloth, and anything else. But uh, mostly they have used S35VN. So everything around here was premium. As you can see, this is uh, also a a burlap type of micarta that they had. It is something in between uh, canvas and burlap. So this is what I talked about, the lighter um, shade that I would like to prefer. Also for perspective, here is a CGRB full-size feldspar. Uh, this is a dealer exclusive from uh, Knife Center. And they also uh, did order a beautiful, probably one of the best uh, looking burlap micartas on the market used by a Chinese company. You can purchase right now. So maybe uh, QSP uh, did want to uh, bring to the market something new. Therefore, they went with the with this darker brown one. But uh, let's face it: if you if you're looking for uh, right now from the camera or from afar and I will not uh, tell you that it's uh, dark brown you will probably see something like uh, black or gray gray, uh, gray black uh, micarta on your screen uh, okay so let's just continue here is the best tech slasher with more uh, a standard or should I say industry standard uh, basic canvas micarta that is used by a lot of company like also QSP uh, before. So here is the comparisons between the QSP Penguin. From Kaiser I have here the full size sheep's foot or sheepdog sorry sheepdog. Red model one.
Kaiser Begleiter 2. From Ontario I have here the, um, the Besra, the newer version with the 10 micarta and the sheep's foot uh, blade. Then on the budget side we have here the Tuna Fire or Free Tiger or Kessivo. Uh, this is the model 957, which also features the a sheep's foot type blade with brow uh, sorry with green uh, micarta here is the kaiser pinch with the og china carta one of the first uh, canvas micarta brown canvas micarta that was used on a production knife Here we have a full-size Griptilian from Benchmate. From Buck, I have here the Sprint Pro. This one features also a really nice uh, American-made Burlap Micarta. So just to give you perspective, Here is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, the production version with the micarta scales and Kruger blade. From Tucson, I have here the model 111, which is a modernized, uh, also Warncliffe blade with the swayback handle profile overall design which also is using uh, one of in my opinion not that uh, great quality uh, burlap micartas but still brown one so I had to have one in my collection okay here's the benchmade bug out From Burker Plus, I have here the CM, uh, CFM-A1, which has also a really heavy modified sheep's foot slash uh, Warncliffe blade, but technically it is not Warncliffe because the blade is not straight, it's a little bit curved, but I keep that to you. So well, this is, in my opinion, a really beautiful uh, design from... Uh, American Kamui, if I'm not mistaken. So, okay, let's see. Here's the 940 from Benchmade, and let's see the Delica. Endura Let's close it down with the K-Bar Dozer Folding Hunter So the weight comes at 114.6 grams or 4 ounces so uh, this is definitely not a heavy knife in my opinion, it is a great addition to the uh, to the QSP catalog. Uh, that blade looks just really, really fine. In my opinion, a great looking knife. So if you are in the market for something like this, uh, forgot to mention the pricing. So the MSRP is 88, uh, 88 uh, US dollars, but usually these are uh, priced at around 70. And here in Europe, uh, you will be paying around 75 euros. So for all of my European-based friends, uh, look at your favorite uh, knife dealer in your country and, and check them out if they have them. As far as variants go, uh, there should be a couple of uh, G10 variants, uh, two brown micarta ones. One is with the black wash blade 
uh, that also looks really really nice and uh, this is the stone wash one so yeah check them out if you like also my left-handed carry users i forgot to mention that uh it has a mb position so the pocket clip is not only really functional well made well thought out but also it is uh, mb dexter so you can uh, use it one little uh a little uh, minus point is that they did not use any kind of screw in there so probably if you're using it uh, some kind of dirt lint pocket uh, dirt could be potentially uh, go inside it and also I forgot to mention that the liners are skeletonized but nowadays QSP does a really great job on all their knives so this is probably an industry standard by now okay so with that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'm more than happy to reply. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. I always appreciate my subscribers taking their time, watching my videos, letting me know what I think about the product, about uh, anything else. Just uh, feel free to let me know. And uh, I'm here and I would like to uh, uh, start a conversation if you have any questions. With that being said, I uh, wish you a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon. Bye.